Rising from the ashes of GoPro's doomed Karma drone, the Hero 10 Blackbones is the company's lightest ever action cam, and one that's been specifically built for the increasingly popular FPV drones. It's also currently only available to buy in the US, with GoPro stating that it does not yet have a date for international availability. FPV fans have for years pleaded with GoPro to finally make an updated version of its long discontinued Session Action Cam, and the Hero 10 Black Bones is finally that camera. Unlike the Session, Bones isn't a traditional action camera that can be used for all of your video needs. In order to reach its 54 gram weight, GoPro has removed the display, battery, speaker, GPS, and waterproof build quality from the Hero 10 Black. FPV drone fans can buy the Hero 10 Black Bones today for just under $400 with a GoPro subscription or just under $500 without the subscription. The Hero 10 Black Bones is intentionally a shell of its fully fledged sibling. In the hand, it weighs a barely noticeable 54 grams, mainly due to the typical metal enclosure being replaced by a lightweight plastic. GoPro says that this shell offers some protection, which of course you'll need in the event of inevitable crashes. But the more noticeable design feature of the Hero 10 Black Bones are its new vents, which help provide cooling to stop the camera from overheating while shooting. On the back of the camera, there are just two buttons, one for power and the other for switching between video and stills. Above those buttons is an LED light, which blinks in various familiar GoPro ways to tell you which mode you're in. Fortunately, there are easier ways to interact with the Hero 10 Black Bones. You can control it using the GoPro Quick App, GoPro's remote accessory, or as our FPV pilot did, use QR codes generated from QR control. Plugging the bones into a drone and mounting it safely involves a little more tinkering than your average GoPro. On the back of the camera is a socket for a GH1.25 3-pin connector, which connects to both the battery and also your drone's flight controller. You can also mount the camera pretty easily using a single screw boss or, on larger drones, the included adapter for GoPro's existing mounting system. Beyond the lack of a built-in battery, a more noticeable usability limitation is the lack of a screen. While it's possible to review footage by pinging it wirelessly to your phone, this doesn't always work seamlessly. Still, one positive feature that the Hero 10 Black Bones does have in common with its fully-fledged sibling is removable lens covers. This is an important inclusion because it means you can swap them out for ND filters, which drone pilots frequently use in bright conditions to help maintain desirable shutter speeds. The Hero 10 Black Bones may only have the skeleton of the full Hero 10 Black, but inside it's very similar to GoPro's flagship action camera. And this is the key part of its appeal. It's also the reason why GoPro can charge such a high price tag compared to other FPV drone cameras. Like the Hero 10 Black, it can shoot 5.3K at 60 frames per second or 4K at 120 frames per second. You can choose to shoot this in GoPro's color profiles or a flat color profile for grading afterwards. Thanks to the GP2 processor, you also get access to hyper smooth 4.0 stabilization, which is pretty much the best available on any action camera. This is the simplest way to stabilize your FPV drone footage, but it's not necessarily the one most pilots will go for, because there's also the option of using real steady afterwards. Rather than cropping your video in to smooth out bumps and jitters, like Hypersmooth does, real steady software taps into the gyro metadata from your GoPro videos. The benefit of this approach is that you have far more control over the stabilization and can tweak away knowing that your original footage is safe and sound. This is why GoPro acquired Real Steady in March of 2020 and has now combined it with its own GoPro Player desktop software, which you can use to edit your Hero 10 Blackbone footage. A license for this software comes included with Bones and is what our FPV drone pilot used to stabilize the sample footage that you're watching throughout this review. The Hero 10 Blackbones is the most niche GoPro you can buy, but it's also one that is perfectly evolved for FPV drones. If you're interested in creating dynamic aerial videos and are willing to put in the flying practice, it offers the best FPV camera and stabilization experience around, for a price. Let us know down in the comments below what you think of GoPro's latest camera, and remember to subscribe to TechRadar here on YouTube so you don't miss any of our future tech reviews or news.